Hey, dividend investors. Today, I'm really going to be talking to you about what is a hedged ETF. So a hedged ETF is actually very simple and easy to understand. So basically, usually when you start looking at companies that have ETFs, so for example, Bank of Montreal, BMO ETFs, we're going to be looking, for example, at the difference between ZWP and ZWE. Now, ZWE is a hedged ETF. And when you start looking at like Horizons, BMO, and all of the other companies that have ETFs, they're going to have a hedged and a non-hedged version of essentially the same ETF. What is hedged? Well, the simple answer is hedged basically means that there's going to be less or little or none volatility when it comes to the currency of the account. So for example, that ZWP is a non-hedged ETF and it's an ETF that covers over in Europe. So European stocks, it's a dividend ETF, has a very high dividend, but it's a ETF that holds different European stocks. Now the issue being in Canada is of course our Canadian dollar will fluctuate versus other countries. So for example, Europe has the Euro, the Americans have the American dollar, Australia has of course the Australian dollar, and of course if you are investing in these other countries, you're not going to be just looking at the stock prices going up or down, also you're going to be looking at the currency. You could literally have a stock or an ETF that goes up by 10%, but if your currency goes down by 10%, you've essentially made no money. So, this is why hedged ETFs are sometimes better. So, when you have an, a hedged ETF, you would be looking at not worrying about your currency and just worrying about the stocks going up or down. And how they can sometimes control this is by having more cash on hand, and that way they're able to then basically cover their own butts when it comes to the price of the currencies. And it's a, it's a long process to really understand. I'm just giving you the basics today. But this is one way that you can kind of hedge your way against the currency of whatever country that you're trying to invest in. Now there's no hedged stocks, but there is hedged ETFs. And sometimes that's a better way of going to invest in other countries when you're looking at stocks. Now, ZWP versus ZWE, those two ETFs, essentially what the hedged version is, is it's actually investing all of its money, most of its money, into ZWP, the non-hedged ETF. And you're probably wondering, well, why would they invest that way? Well, it's basically the same ETF in, in theory, but ZWE holds a little bit more cash, so that now they can kind of hedge their way against that currency so that they don't have any currency fluctuations and just stock price fluctuations. I hope that this basics video has kind of helped you understand how hedged ETFs work. If it has, hit that like button and subscribe and I'll see you guys again next time.